بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Welcome to this week's episode of Masar Ilun Nisa and Amar Shate Asun Amrar, regular guest Ustad Saliha. As a topic, Amrar is a Kula or Talak, a director of the Beshkom or Partukota Kita, Amrata Buzwal Lagi Solentan Lagamati. Assalamu alaikum, Ustad. Alaikum, Assalamu alaikum, Ustad. Ustad, Amra last week, last time I had a conversation, I've learned a lot from it and Jazakallah khair for that. So this week, Amra topic was to get talaq and khula. So I've kindly just explained to you how the talaq and khula are different. Okay, inshallah. It's a big topic, as you know, but let's begin. Bismillah, walhamdulillah, wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah al-kareem. So, First of all, um, it's important to point out that talaq and khula is something we consider after having worked on all avenues in the marriage. Right. So, you know, um, sometimes things can go wrong in mm -hmm. marriage and we know from a hadith uh, related to us from the Prophet sallallahu that he said uh, that abghadu al-halal ila Allahi at-talaq, meaning that it's the most hated of permissible things. So, um, it's, but it's permissible, so mm -hmm. that's what we need to remember. Yeah. And Islam has made things easy, so easy for us. You know, Islam is about ease. Yeah. All the hukums that are derived, even in the difference of opinions, mm -hmm. um, you know, that we have, we have the reason it's there that our ulama have provided this, and that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has given us this um, difference of opinion. It's a blessing. It means that you know it provides flexibility for mm -hmm. the Muslims who are from different. Um, you know, parts of the world. So unfortunately, as we're aware, not all marriages last. And, um, you know, sadly, I think in recent times, um, what do we see that we, we find that a lot of marriages are suffering, you know, mm -hmm. young and old. So, um, and so when you do unfortunately come to this point, then we need to look at hula or as you say, talaq. Um, now, just to define a talaq first, talaq is, um, the right of the husband. Mm -hmm. So upon marriage, of course, you have the contract between the husband and wife in an Islamic marriage. The husband will have the right to three talaq. Right. Um, the khula is, um, it's, is, this is the right of the woman. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't necessarily mean that she will, um, you know, um, be establishing the talaq herself. It means she can ask for okay. uh, talaq, but it's initiated by her, mm -hmm. meaning the right has been given to her. It's been delegated, um, you know, by the husband to her. And so usually this is stipulated in the marriage contract. If a woman, um, sorry, I beg your pardon. I've, I've mixed it up with something else. So if a woman um, gets a delegated a talaq from the husband in this situation this is another talaq at tafweed we're right. talking about mm -hmm. so that's another method okay. but this is established during the um, the uh, marriage contract so I hope I haven't lost you yeah. are you still with me so yeah. this is talaq at tafweed mm -hmm. and the talaq which the husband has which is the three talaq Achoo. now coming to khula mm -hmm. Khula is um, something that again came from the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We know that there is a hadith um, related and you know often um, this is referred to mm -hmm. when explaining Khula. There's a hadith about um, the wife of Thabit ibn Qais um, radiallahu anhu. He, she came to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mm -hmm. and you know she asked mm -hmm. to be um, separated from mm -hmm. her husband and um, so she explained to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that there was no fault in her husband. Yeah. She simply felt that for whatever reason, she did not find him attractive mm -hmm. and that this would mean that she would not fulfill her duties as a wife, right. um, you know, diligently and mm -hmm. that she would become sinful. Yeah. So you can see her concern was not that, I don't know, you know, um, I don't like the house or mm -hmm. I don't like what he's doing. There was no fault in the husband. Yeah. It was simply that she felt that she could not commit to this marriage. Yeah. Um, and she would find it very difficult to go on. 
To which the Prophet وسلم, answered, you know, are you willing to give back his garden? Because he had gifted her a, right. an orchard. So as she, mahar. As mahar, as her mahar. So upon this, the Prophet وسلم, called uh, Thabit ibn Qais and, you know, and, and said to his wife, um, you know, give, return him his garden. She said, I do. And, and she said to Thabit ibn Qais, um, give her talaq. So this is how mm -hmm. khula was, um, you know, established, if you like. So this is the ruling from which we um, establish khula. So you can see khula is not when a woman runs into difficulty. Mm. And um, often women do confuse this mm. with um, khula. Yeah. That when she's in a difficult situation, that's not the time for a khula. Khula is when a woman simply decides um, from her point of view that right. she cannot commit to this marriage right. but there still have to be valid reasons mm -hmm. like you can't just say I don't know you know um, for whatever reason I'm bored or yeah. you know um, or he upset me something like mm -hmm. that you know mm -hmm. it's not not for little reason it mustn't be little uh, the sanctity of marriage but however um, as you can see, like if it's genuinely going to affect mm -hmm. how she uh, behaves as a wife towards mm -hmm. her husband mm -hmm. and going to affect the family, then that's something you need to consider khula. Right. Um, now going back to talaq, and as we've said, mm -hmm. there is this issue of um, the way that talaq is done. I mean, I'm not sure, would you like to maybe um, tell me if you've understood that and then I can go into yeah, how so, the talaq is um, pronounced. I've never heard of it. The talaq or khula are not the best one. Either way, mm -hmm. talaq and khula, husband and daughter are the two, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, no, no, sorry. So, talaq um, is the husband's right. Right. Husband or haq, right? Mm -hmm. And khula is the uh, woman's right, mm -hmm. meaning a woman can approach a Sharia council. Okay. And she can ask for khula on the basis of, as I said, condition is that she has to return her mahar because there's no fault with the husband. Right. Mm -hmm. Maybe she will say, look, I can't be a good wife. Mm -hmm. I'm finding it very difficult. Um, you know, I find him repulsive. Right. So I, I can't do my duties as a wife. Right. Um, so in under circumstances mm -hmm. like this, um, and the talaq is the husband's right. The husband can delegate the talaq, um, which is called talaq ya tafweed, mm -hmm. at the time of drawing up the marriage contract. So okay. this is, it's not um, something we traditionally adopt, mm -hmm. um, but it is there. Um, it is it traditionally from Islam. Mm -hmm. um, so what did you mean when you said that, as in the husband can draw it up in the marriage contract? Um, so the nikah nama. Right. Mm -hmm. It will be in the nikah nama. That he can give mm -hmm. talaq or three times if you can just explain that again, I didn't understand. No, no, that. I think you're confusing it. So talaq is the husband's right. right. Three times he can give talaq, right. yeah? And we'll go into the definition of that mm -hmm. later. I don't mm -hmm. want to confuse the two. When the um, husband gives permission to the wife to um, administer the talaq, this Achha. will be in the, the nikah nama. Okay. And this is not traditionally something we practice, mm. but it is in the uh, you know traditions of Islam. Okay. So it's, it's an option women can consider. Okay, okay. Okay, and um, so either way, the sh even in terms of like khula, yeah. um, like the woman would have to go to the Sharia council and tara, um, they would get like the husband to give the talaq, isn't it? In the case that she returns, the they mahar. will, yeah, they, so they will contact the husband and say, Your wife wishes to, you know, um, uh, do khula, she's willing to return the mahar, mm -hmm. um, you know, so can you release her from this marriage? Right. Um, of course, the, the husbands don't always agree in situations right, like that, exactly. so it can get complicated. Mm -hmm. So in those situations, it will be up to a Sharia council to assess the case mm -hmm. and see, you know, what the reasons are and if the husband is being unjust or, mm -hmm. you know, just to help them through yeah. this phase. Yeah. Um, and, you know, in the end, if it is just that simply the husband is, um, you know, feeling annoyed that mm -hmm. the wife has initiated mm -hmm. this and that, you know, um, often people are men and women both are worried about the stigma in society mm, so if yeah. it is something like this you know the Sharia council will try to um, get him to see sense and mm. um, if it's something he doesn't agree with then the Sharia council can decide on the case can actually okay. finalize the khula yeah. um, um, you know if, if he doesn't agree then they can resort to for example fusk which means that you will uh, dissolve the marriage so the council mm. will decide eventually okay. and then um, you know this is after a, a much consideration and deliberation you know it's not mm. just a something you decide on the spot right mm. so um in that case then mm. i guess like if the husband isn't meeting the wife's rights mm. that's not the case of khula is it like then in that situation it would the council would consider talaq um, on her behalf or 
How does that work? If so if a woman, I think you're asking a different question. Now your pro question probably is what does a woman do when mm. she's um, in a predicament where she feels the husband is not fulfilling right. her rights? Mm. Um, in that situation, of course, um, you know, she will need to get advice, whether it's from her local mm. imam, whether it's, mm. as you say, you know, she can contact a Sharia council. Um, I have to say that with Sharia councils, you need to, um, you know, do your homework, mm. ask around, ask your uh, local imams and yeah. scholars, um, find a Sharia council which you feel, you know, check them out um, on, on, on the website mm. or ask around and, um, you know, go and meet them once to see if it's what you're looking for. Right. Because a certain Sharia councils do operate differently or mm. have different principles. Um, so a woman in that situation who feels, you know, her husband is breaching the marriage contract, not mm -hmm. fulfilling her rights, she can uh, approach the Sharia Council and of course she can begin a case, which would mean that she has to provide proof. Mm -hmm. So um, let me give you an example of a woman who's experiencing domestic violence. Mm -hmm. um, so this is of, of course quite a serious case. Um, and uh, um, if she has evidence of, you know, um, having been in hospital right. or doctor's reports, mm -hmm. hospital reports, police reports, uh, for example, she has restraining orders um, right. against him. And, um, you know, in, in, in the most severe cases, like she's, in, she's in living in refuge. Mm -hmm. So you know that her situation is quite dire yeah. and quite serious. Yeah. So, of course, the Sharia Council will have to consider the, this case mm -hmm. based on the evidence provided. If they feel mm -hmm. the evidence is not um, solid, you know, you need to seek that evidence, mm -hmm. make sure that the case against the husband is strong. And on that basis, they can decide whether you know it's in the best interest of the woman and her children mm. um, you know that this marriage be dissolved okay. um, again it's not something i think people expect that you know it's going to be done within a month or two months mm. we have to uh, appreciate that we're as muslims mm. you know when you're living um, in the west yes. and you have two sets of laws here you have on the one hand, we're abiding within the Islamic law in mm -hmm. our communities. Yeah. On the other hand, as British citizens, mm -hmm. we need to respect the British law as well. Yeah. So, of course, we need to give consideration to both. So, if you do have a civil divorce, mm -hmm. you need to consider that as well, how yeah. you're going to apply for a civil divorce. But at the same time, you can put in an application for an Islamic divorce. Mm -hmm. Um, so if, you, if you're somebody who has a civil marriage as well as a mm -hmm. Islamic marriage, mm -hmm. you need to put in the application for a civil divorce first mm -hmm. and then you can begin your uh, Islamic marriage and, you know, because certain complications can yeah, arise course, from yeah. that yeah. if you try to do the Islamic divorce mm -hmm. first. Um, so I don't know, is that clear now what the... Yeah, that is. Out, yeah. Yeah. But um, just on top of that, mm -hmm. you know, a question. So um, in that case, is situational, like a woman would ask for talaq mm. or because or she would ask for khula if she was in dimas like if she was abused mm. um because then you like you said like khula like she'd have to return um the yeah mahar. let me just um i think it can get very confusing for sisters mm. um yeah. first of all i i can also see that you're quite confused as i'm explaining yeah. so let me explain Talaq, number one talaq uh -huh. is a husband's right. Right. Okay. Mm. This is um, with any marriage contract, mm. you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given this right to the husband. Mm. Um, you know, he's the head of the household. Mm. He has, he can administer three talaqs if the marriage he finds it's difficult, mm -hmm. you know, for whatever reason he does not wish to keep the wife. Mm -hmm. um, and he will, he has the right to three talaq. Mm. And we know that these three talaqs will be, um, you know, there's three types of talaq. Mm. Um, and I'll come back to the three types yeah, of talaq, yeah. but let me just go through the mm -hmm. categories. Secondly, you have um, the uh, talaq ya tafweed, as I said. Talaq. It's not something we practice. Mm. Um, you may find it around the world in other Muslim countries. Right. But this is where the husband has included the wife mm. in the marriage contract to have the um, you know, uh, the right to talaq also. Yeah. So she can approach a, um, you know, Sharia council and say, my husband has given, delegated uh, mm. me the right to, right. Um, you know, administer this talaq and I wish to take mm. it through. Um, mm. And thirdly, you have uh, the khula. Mm. So the khula is, as we, um, you know, uh, mentioned from the hadith um, mm. that we gave of Thabit bin Qais, mm. is when a woman, she simply feels that she is, not fulfilling the marriage rights herself. Right. Um, as I said, the husband is not at fault. He's providing mm. for her. Mm. He's loving and caring towards her. You know, he's providing a roof over her head, mm. providing um, 
you know, in every way taking care of her mm -hmm. needs. Mm -hmm. But she just feels, you know, for whatever reason, she feels she cannot live with this husband. Right. She cannot, you know, have the marital relations with yeah. him. Um, and, and it's going to stop her from being a, um, you know, devoted wife. Mm. So, of course, under these circumstances, right. and especially sometimes it can happen, for example, um, you just don't have that attraction. Yeah. And so if you feel that's going to become an obstacle for mm. your relationship, um, as I said, there's no fault on the husband. Yeah. So you, it's up to the woman to make this decision, you know, return her mahar yeah. and apply for hula. Yeah. Um, when a woman applies to the Sharia Council, now we're coming to the last right. um, category, which you asked about when a woman feels her husband is not fulfilling her yeah. right. Or is abusive. Is abusive, but he won't give her talaq. And you will often find a lot of men who are abusive in certain marriages, mm. even when they come to a Sharia council right. and, you know, their advice that, look, you're, you're, it's quite clear your marriage is not working, mm. you know, you're abusive towards your wife, mm. so you're clearly both not happy with right. each other. Give her talaq. Most men will refuse and say, mm -hmm. no, I will never let her go. You yeah. know, I will make sure she suffers for the rest yeah, of her life. Yeah. So it becomes personal. Mm. And this is what we look out for because, in um, you know, it's important in Sharia councils that, people understand that you know this woman is not just um, saying at the first sign of trouble I've had enough it's yeah. not like a disagreement right. it's not a re regular argument mm. between couples it's something yeah. more, serious. more serious so in this situation of course when a husband doesn't um, divorce the woman mm. and you know he won't release her the woman will approach the Sharia Council um, provide the proof mm. and the Sharia Council can then dissolve the marriage on mm. her behalf and this will be called a first which means there's dissolvement of the marriage. Okay. Um, of course, like you consider all the evidence mm. and then it will be done. It's not something um, you, know, you can reach. Um, it's not something be, to be done by one scholar. Mm. There will be a group of scholars, you know, mm -hmm. a board of scholars who will decide on the case. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah. Which, so mm. in situational, mm -hmm. um, she wouldn't have to return the mahar if the marriage if is dissolved If their marriage is uh, dissolved, no, because the husband is at fault here, fault. so of mm -hmm. course she keeps her mahar. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and nice. usually there are situations where the husband hasn't paid mahar. Mm. Then of course when the marriage is over, right. then he needs to fulfill that. Oh, he needs uh, to just pay the he mahar. He needs towards. to pay the mahar. But again, you will find when there's conflict between mm. husband and wife, um, of course they're not going to abide by that. No, and sadly, not. there's not much we can do. Mm -hmm. But um, in terms of you know Sharia councils, mm. like they cannot. Um, you know, instate that. But what what you can do is take it to civil courts. Mm -hmm. um, but it may be a lengthy um, okay. case, so we need to consider that as well. Okay, I All hope right. that makes okay. sense. Yeah, that yeah. That's, that does. Jazakallah khair. So uh, I'll, my you. next question is mm. like, afna koisla ze tin talak, right? And um, there's obviously a mihunchi as well that you know a husband can give one talak with the intention mm. that I am ending the marriage, right? So, what do you have to say about this? And what does Islam have to say about that? Like, tin talaq de walage na ikh talaq with the right intentions, de la huizai. Sadly, um, you know, again, this is something um, that our brothers and sisters have ha had made, made a mockery out mm. of. You know, marriage, subhanAllah, is a blessing. Allah yes. subhanahu wa ta'ala says, you know, um, that He has created, um, you know, um, pairs he has created us in pairs yes. so you know we are a beautiful creations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then mm -hmm. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in surah al-baqarah um, you know bismillah rahman rahim he says um وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ أَنْ خَلَقَ لَكُمْ مِنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ أَزْوَاجًا So he's mm -hmm. speaking to the men saying, I have made for you wives from amongst yourselves. Mm -hmm. لِتَسْكُنُوا إِلَيْهَا So that you can find tranquility with them. Mm -hmm. وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَكُمْ مَوَدَّةً وَرَحْمًا And has placed between you compassion and mercy. Mm -hmm. So this is the blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you have this companionship mm -hmm. where you find tranquility. It's not just for the um, husbands, but mm -hmm. it's where the women, the wives should also find um, tranquility. Yeah. And naturally when husband and wife both come together, mm -hmm. they form a family. Yeah. Your family members, you know, they will go out, mm -hmm. whether it's school, college, mm -hmm. work, they will come home, they come back to this place of tranquility. If you don't have tranquility between the husband and the wife, yeah. Um, of course, there won't be tranquility with the family. Right. So, um, so these are things we need to work on. Whether you know, as a wife or a husband, it's both the duties of both spouses to focus on creating this tranquility mm -hmm. at home, because we know that our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said 
that each one of you is a shepherd. Yeah. Um, and he didn't refer to just men. Mm -hmm. He said, of course, the uh, spouses, men, mm -hmm. are the shepherds of the entire family. Right. But the uh, but the female, you know, the wife, mm -hmm. she's the shepherd of the home, yeah. the her family, her children. Mm -hmm. So she's responsible for how her home runs, how her children, you know, the mm -hmm. upbringing, mm -hmm. especially the early years, yeah. which are crucial years. Mm -hmm. So she has very, very important um, responsibility. Mm -hmm. So now, of course, given this situation, again, I'm just, you know, reiterating the importance of marriage mm -hmm. and that we should always do everything we can to try and save a marriage. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes it could just be that you've stopped being friends, you know, mm -hmm. you stop being friendly towards each other mm -hmm. or stop showing love and care to each other. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you can seek marriage counselling, inshallah, mm -hmm. you know. Um, again, I think that's something we feel is stigmatised in society, that marriage counselling means that you know you're not doing too well mm -hmm. that yeah, it's like you're declaring failure but mm -hmm. it's not yeah. it just shows that you care about your marriage and that you're willing to take that step yes. um, you know you don't have to declare it to the world do it privately no. if you have to yeah. but there are so many counseling services out there mm -hmm. um, you know just um, check whichever one is suitable for mm -hmm. you and of course given all those options you know once you've tried and you feel like you know no there's absolutely no way mm -hmm. we can work on this it's become very difficult as I said um, Sometimes I find, you know, um, with the cases that I've worked on myself in the areas of work that I do, mm -hmm. that men and women both use divorce mm -hmm. as a way to torture each other with. Right. And sadly, this is not what divorce is about. Mm -hmm. As I said, you know, this is something um, our Prophet وسلم, referred to as abghadu um, al-halali mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. So what we need to remember, it's the most hated but it's been made permissible for a reason that right. when a relationship becomes toxic mm -hmm. and you know you are bad for each other you you just create you know making life hell for each other mm -hmm. then of course you amicably decide to right. separate right. you know in the best interests of everyone you're doing it for the well-being of everyone mm -hmm. it's not to torture each mm -hmm. other so mm -hmm. first of all i think we need to um, our brothers and sisters need to understand that you know keep a clear intention right. And inshallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will always help you, yeah. you know, no matter where you go from here onwards, because he's the ultimate provider. So when you reach this point... Okay, sorry, Istana, yeah. and we are going to have to go on a small break right now. So okay. inshallah, when we come back, we can continue this discussion. Definitely. So, I'm going to have to break with you. I'm going to have to break with you. I'm going to have to break with you in our discussion with Ustada Saleha about talaq and khula. I think as a difference, I think as a similarity. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back to Masailun Nisa and um, in our discussion with Ustada Saliha about talaq and khula. Break it again. I'm very Ustad Saleh Hazar. I soon the talaq or kular maze beshkum takita. So, time who soon the talaq after husband the right, time after husband the and wife the talaq the farba. Even though it are, um, you know, it are light a balafaina, but still it after husband the right as And khula is the gear the shumay after wife, kunu dush husband kunu dush sara. Um, because then it a on now then look at a shongshar on now okay on it after wife a kula like ask what the for button has been there so so then I'm ready to show for caro zani the talaka kula maze kun kun tin type ten kula the tin type talaka says it a show for camera zani assalamu alaikum ustada alaikum assalamu so ustada before uh, the break you were telling mm -hmm. us there um that there are three types of talaq so if you can tell us a little bit more about it so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, um, um, in Surah Al-Baqarah, verse uh, 229, At-talaqu marratan. Mm -hmm. And then um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, At-talaqu marratan fa'imsakum bima'roofin aw tasrihum bi ihsan. Mm -hmm. So this means the divorce is twice. Mm -hmm. After that, either you retain her on reasonable terms or mm -hmm. you release her mm -hmm. with kindness. Mm -hmm. So this is the three talaq that mm -hmm. um, um, the fuqaha refer to. So it means that um, as we said, the husband has three talaqs. Right. So the first talaq, when the husband pronounces the first talaq, mm -hmm. um, it needs to be within her 
three purity period. So again, I'm going to refer to another verse. Mm -hmm. So just uh, prior to this verse, um, we have verse um, 228 in Surah Al-Baqarah, mm -hmm. where Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala says, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which means in divorced women shall, um, you know, after being divorced, um, shall wait for three menstrual periods. Okay, so thin mash, right? Th yeah, three. Yeah. Well, um, it can be different, isn't mm -hmm. it? Can different with the farba. Uh, so th three different periods and four women who are irregular with periods, for example, then mm -hmm. the uh, fuqaha have decided three months for her. So everyone will differ, So which is why it's important you mm -hmm. approach a Sharia council. Mm -hmm. So let's explain this. So when a husband pronounces first talaq, mm -hmm. it has to be within while she, the woman is not menstruating. Okay. So she's pure now. Right. He um, pronounces one talaq. Mm -hmm. And um, let me explain to you the three types of talaqs. There's um, one called um, has ahsan talaq, ahsan talaq and there's one hasan talaq mm. and then obviously then you have the last one which is um, 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 a talaq ghalidha or mm -hmm. it's like the extreme form of talaq or mm -hmm. you have the bidah talaq. So uh, these are last two forms but let me just explain the ahsan talaq. Mm -hmm. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam described the ahsan talaq as the best um, uh, Talaq, um, the most um, recommended talaq, mm -hmm. which is that in the um, woman's first purity period, yeah. she's finished menstruating, mm -hmm. she's pure, mm -hmm. he administers one talaq. Mm -hmm. So he says, I divorce you. Mm -hmm. um, and then she's still under the care of the husband, in the house of the husband, she mm -hmm. can still adorn herself, mm -hmm. because remember, it's one talaq. Yeah. If during this period, mm -hmm. um, you know, she will, um, this whole purity period before mm -hmm. she menstruates, mm -hmm. Um, you know, she, um, there is no retraction from the husband, mm -hmm. meaning if there's anything between husband and wife, like they become affectionate, mm -hmm. you know, they show any, they have any marital relations, mm -hmm. this means the uh, divorce is, um, um, you know, has been retracted. Right. The husband has taken the wife back. Gotcha. But let's say the husband and wife, there is nothing. Mm -hmm. And they go through this period, mm -hmm. but he's given one talaq. Mm -hmm. And they go through the, um, you know, the three periods, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, the divorce has taken place now. Mm -hmm. So the divorce is um, established, mm -hmm. but notice he only gave one talaq. Right. So he has two left. Right. So what does this mean? It means now the husband and wife are suddenly divorced, mm -hmm. but if for some reason now, you know, the, the, the wife, you know, husband mm -hmm. and wife have mm -hmm. resolved their issues mm -hmm. and the husband feels, oh, you know, what have I done? Mm -hmm. I wanted to keep her and, yeah. you know, they both want to s remain yeah. with each other. Mm -hmm. Because they've only exhausted one talaq, mm -hmm. the husband can now remarry her. Mm -hmm. He will, of course, have, they would have to stipulate a new mahar okay. and they will have a new marriage contract. Achha. Do you see? So this is the ahsan talaq because, as you see, it gives you room mm. to uh, reconcile. Um, and this is one of the things that is beautiful about Islam, mm -hmm. that it gives you um, stages to go right. through, to, mm -hmm. you know, through, so mm -hmm. that if you, if your anger settles, mm -hmm. uh, you suddenly realize that, you know, your love um, overpowers the mm -hmm. anger or, you know, it sort of overtakes mm -hmm. the disagreements you might have, you know, yeah. you might want to work on the relationship okay. so you can take, um, you can remarry again once okay. the talaq has taken place. Okay, so now, can I just, sorry, mm. um, so in that situation, um, like, what is the wife's rights towards like her husband? As in, does the husband have rights towards her still? While, in what situation? So no. after like for Allah talak ta dawar badir, you said like tarazudi abarek logo isan. Then obviously it's you know um, the talak doesn't happen, mm. but she's still living with him. Yeah. So uh, in that sense, like you know, does the husband still have rights towards his wife? And if Yes, so what rights? Like, you know, she still cooks for um, him. Let's not confuse two things because right. if husband and wife are back together again, then you're back together again, then right. complete rights. Okay. Yeah. If the husband and wife are considering the talaq, you know, he's, he's, yes. he's, 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 he's uh, pronounced the talaq mm. and then she has the right to live under there. She's mm. to be provided for, mm. um, you know, and she will live there until her. Uh, the period of the talaq right. until the divorce has taken place mm -hmm. upon which if they're not getting back together if he's not remarrying mm -hmm. her you know and he doesn't retract mm -hmm. the talaq then she will then leave the home ah, I see. do you understand but of course until then he will fulfill all her rights okay. um, you know and this has been established from quran and sunnah mm -hmm. now so that's the ahsan talaq mm -hmm. yeah and as you can see he's only used up the husband has used up just one of his three talaqs mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. 
Now uh, we move on to the second type of talaq, mm -hmm. which is um, the hasan talaq, mm -hmm. so, which means um, it's the recommended. Mm -hmm. So this talaq, um, the way it works is, so again, you know, we have to um, consider the woman's three menstrual periods, mm -hmm. yeah? So she's, when she's in her first purity period, mm -hmm. the husband will pronounce the first talaq. Mm -hmm. So then she will have her menstruation, mm -hmm. then she enters her second purity period. Mm -hmm. she, he will announce the second talaq. Mm -hmm. And we have to bear in mind, during these periods, mm -hmm. he's refrained from any marital relations between husband and wife. Right. Yeah, because remember we said, any relations between mm -hmm. the husband and wife means the talaq has been retracted. Okay. So he would, if, if, if they then decide, mm -hmm. they would have to do talaq again, mm -hmm. because it's not valid, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So if now the husband gave the first talaq, first purity period, second talaq in the second purity period, and then he gives the third talaq in the third purity period, mm -hmm. and she has finished all the three menstruations. Mm -hmm. This talaq is ba'in, which means that um, there's, it's, you know, a point of no return. Right. She means, can't, he can't remarry her. Yes, yeah, he can't remarry her because he used up three of his talaqs. Mm -hmm. um, but again, um, you see, um, for mm -hmm. what this talaq provides is that time to think because mm -hmm. you're still going through the three periods. Right. The husband has time to retract if he mm -hmm. so wishes. Mm -hmm. um, and if they don't retract, they have time to think through these three periods, mm -hmm. know that actually this is best for us. Mm -hmm. And you can work out, you know, if there are children involved, mm -hmm. how to go through that, mm -hmm. you know, how to um, work out um, mm -hmm. child custody, etc. You might even um, plan out many other arrangements mm -hmm. between yourselves because it's not. When a marriage ends, it doesn't mean you have to become enemies. Mm -hmm. It just means you're doing what is like, you know, you're right. um, going through what Islam provides us with and doing yeah. it according to Islam. Mm -hmm. um, so this is the second type of talaq. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to come to the um, um, third type, which is, which we said there's a, a talaq ghalida, which means that when husbands um, use other forms of talaq, which I won't go into in this session, uh, because we have limited time to talk about mm -hmm, the uh, mm -hmm. bid'ah talaq, and I think um, that's what your question was on. So there's many forms that the ulama have talked about, which is when a husband, you know, says, for example, I, um, you, you know, you are divorced thousand times. Mm -hmm. uh, there are many extreme forms where mm -hmm. where it is said, you know, if you step out the house, mm -hmm. consider yourself completely divorced, right. or um, you know, and um, there's other methods as well. Like we haven't talked about lian. Ayla, which means when a husband takes an oath mm -hmm. not to touch, you know, not to go near his wife, mm -hmm. and then he fulfills that for mm -hmm. a certain amount of time, then the mm -hmm. divorce has taken place. Okay. So these are, um, you know, um, types of talaqs we can uh, explore another time. Yeah, it's, but it's I think actually a really big topic. It is, it's it? a huge yeah, so topic. I feel like in, maybe in one episode we won't be able to cover the no, entire thing. No, but we'll certainly so, yeah. go through it because it's yeah. good to know. Mm -hmm. um, but alhamdulillah, you know, they're not used. Yeah. Unfortunately, the kind of talaq which is, um, you know, quite um, prevalent is the bid'ah talaq, mm -hmm. which you um, asked about earlier, which is when a husband pronounces three talaq in one in go. One go yeah. And it's not just that. The other thing is pronouncing three talaq at once um, is considered sinful. Mm -hmm. This method is not from the sunnah. But also um, pronouncing a talaq when a woman is menstruating. Mm. So this is another um, factor because um, you have to pronounce the talaqs when a woman is not menstruating. As we mm -hmm. said, she has to be pure. Mm -hmm. So when this situation is actually um, quite serious here in mm -hmm. you know UK and I'm sure around the world mm -hmm. where uh, men and women become angry with each other. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying it's just the men at fault. I'm sure women are equally at fault. Mm -hmm. So sometimes what you will find is women will push the husband mm -hmm. and say, you know, what are you going to do? Do you th mm -hmm. really think I need you? Right. You really think I can't survive without mm -hmm. you? Go on, what's the worst you can do? Give me talaq. Mm -hmm. And it's really not necessary to do of that. Course, I understand you're yeah. angry, yeah. but you have to understand that marriage is, you know, such a respected things mm -hmm. it's, it's a you know there's a sanctity of marriage mm -hmm. don't break that of course because yeah. when you cross that boundary there mm -hmm. is no return no. you've already offended that yeah. and you know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that he's placed that uh, mercy between you two mm -hmm. so why even attack that mm -hmm. you're angry you're upset with each other there's many ways to express that mm -hmm. do you know what I mean um a wife can express it in many ways of you know course. feed your husband cold dinner <laughs> say the microwave wasn't working say yeah. the cooker wasn't working whatever you know there's ways to be upset with each other yeah. there's really no reason to become nasty to mm -hmm. become um you know th to to be threat threatening right. towards each right. other and you're you, you are going above 
what the marriage is about and mm -hmm. naturally it's going to destroy any marriage mm -hmm. and similarly it's not just the woman at fault also we find the husband will say something small happens you know something a disagreement happens mm -hmm. and he'll say um, you know that's it I've had enough of you and mm -hmm. he will say the talaq and uh, three talaqs in one go and then he will say I was angry um, mm -hmm. you know then they go seeking an imam or sharia mm -hmm. council we were really angry we were really upset we didn't mean it we've only you know um, done it once and it happens again as well yeah. it's not just that people you know mm. recommit these um, offenses so for people like that unfortunately there was a time mm. one time when the three talaq even though it's a bit talaq mm. and the husband will be sinful it is valid it, it is means valid, it yeah. is valid Definitely. having said that there are um, scholars today even here in the UK. Mm -hmm. So you need to, again, see, this is why I said it's important to see which scholar you approach, mm -hmm. which imam you approach, or which Sharia council you approach, mm -hmm. because some have taken uh, this opinion of three talaqs counting as mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. So of course, if you're looking um, to want to save this marriage, yeah. then that is an opinion you are looking for. Right. And because it is out there, mm -hmm. it means that you, know, you have um, a choice to go to that. Mm -hmm. um, council or to that, um, you know, um, to the issue. So go looking for that, you know, seek advice before you um, determine where you stand with your marriage. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, if you can at first avoid that situation mm -hmm. completely, like I said, it's not necessary. Divorce okay. is a serious matter. Yes. If you're really yeah, thinking of ending the marriage, you know, then explore it. Mm -hmm. But it's not something, you know, I got angry, yeah. um, so I'm going to say this. This is mm -hmm. very immature. Um, it's up to us. We're adults. When mm -hmm. you enter a relationship, you're entering it as an adult. And when you use this kind of divorce, mm -hmm. you're being childish. You're actually upset. You just want to hurt the other person. Mm -hmm. And then you want to retract it and you're thinking, SubhanAllah, what have I done? You know, I've got children, I've got a family. Um, and, you know, and I didn't mean it. Above all, I was just angry. Mm -hmm. So, uh, as I said, there's many ways to express your mm -hmm. anger. That does not need to be one of them. Yeah. It really destroys the sanctity of the marriage and you will destroy the love and respect, mm -hmm. you know, that forms that strong relationship. Um, so, really, I guess the message I'm really given here mm -hmm. is that if that happens, uh, seek advice because another, um, sadly, I'm sure you've probably heard mm -hmm. of this, another method people are resorting to in our communities is that when they say the three talaq, mm -hmm. Um, and of course they haven't sought the opinion and maybe they've received the opinion that it's counted as a, you know, a complete talaq. Yeah. Then in that situation they go to seek something called halala. halala. Mm. Um, and this is not a method from, uh, you know, prescribed Islam. by Islam. Right. Halala is something, um, it's, a, it's, it's, it's like a form of trickery if you mm -hmm. like, you know, people are using, it's a loophole. So. You know when um, the three divorces are est established mm -hmm. and when the wife is completely <coughs> divorced, uh, we know that the Prophet ﷺ said then a woman needs to remarry. Mm -hmm. only, the only way she can come back to the first mm -hmm. husband is if she remarries another husband and as the Prophet ﷺ put it, he need, she needs to taste the sweetness of that marriage, right. meaning she needs to consummate, consummate the marriage. The marriage yeah. People, unfortunately, are using this as a way yeah, to business. bring their yeah. wife back. What I mean is then, um, you know, there's situations where the wife spends yeah. one night with another mm -hmm. husband. Mm -hmm. So it's all legal, mm -hmm. but it's, 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 you know, it's, it's still no less than an indecent proposal, really, course, yeah. I feel. And, um, and it's very disrespectful to the woman. Um, and I'm happy to say I've heard on certain occasions mm -hmm. when the women have married, mm -hmm. um, there have been occasions where the husband, right. the new husband, has refused to give talaq to the woman right. um, and the woman has happily stayed in that marriage. Okay. So mm -hmm. alhamdulillah, this is how, how it's meant to be. It's not for the sake of coming back to the yeah. husband. You know, if you've accepted the talaq, you move on. Mm -hmm. um, and on some instances, even the wife has decided to stay with the new husband. Mm -hmm. And, you know, inshallah, this will be a lesson to our brothers and sisters that it's, it's really not a game, you know, it's, right. don't make a mockery of marriage. Of it's such a blessed and, um, you know, gift and mercy from Allah subhanahu mm -hmm. wa ta'ala. See it for what it is. Mm -hmm. right. um, not everybody gets this blessing. And if you have this blessing of having a companion, mm -hmm. you know, having a spouse, try to um, see good in each other just because you you know try and remember the good times you had how mm -hmm. you started off because we all get trials and tests throughout of our course. lives and we will all change we will all um, husband and wife are 
you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran that you are like garments to each mm -hmm. other. Mm -hmm. And, you know, this uh, metaphor is quite often, um, you know, our ulama go into describing it in detail. Mm -hmm. It means that there's nobody who will be closer than the husband and wife. Course, so yeah. naturally, we're going to know every fault of our husbands. Yeah. Our husbands will know every fault of yeah. ours. Um, but again, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the uh, Quran, doesn't he, that... Um, uh, as, asa wa huwa khayrul lakum, which mm. means that perhaps you dislike something mm. but it is good for you yeah. so do you see it's not about our likes and dislikes mm. how will we determine what's good for us or what's of bad course. for us everything has to be from the point of view of islam isn't islam, it course, yeah. as a muslim or muslima mm. um you know our brothers and sisters if they have one goal which is to worship allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mm. then your marriage becomes um like a vessel for that if you like mm -hmm. it's a way to help you in worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then when you have children mm -hmm. your dependents you are teaching them how to worship Allah subhanahu mm -hmm. wa ta'ala and they are going to copy you right. you know children um, you cannot teach children by just telling them mm -hmm. what you'll notice is children um, from a very very young mm -hmm. age now they will watch you mm -hmm. uh, watch right. their parents and copy every move yeah. whether it's good or bad mm -hmm. habits so um, I've, I've spoken for a long time, um, but perhaps you can um, summarize that for our viewers yeah. and if there's any more questions so, you can um, ask me. So exactly. So Afne Khusun, there mm. are three types of talaq, right? Talaq Ahsan, Talaq Hassan, mm -hmm. and um, what was the other one? The so galida. you have either Bid'i bid Talaq bid uh, and um, Talaq Ghalida. Okay. Yeah. So it's so, like the most severe Yeah. So. Yeah, Talaq ahsan, we say gya ze shumwai ehta husband de, tan wife re, because tan tinta talaq ase, right? Tan right, zakta hok, zakta tinta talaq de war. So, talaq ahsan, we say gya ze shumwai tan tan ufwe la talaq de lai ba. Only one, yeah. Right? And asta mash zai buge. So, wife re ze period month, ekta asta zai buge. And e talaq ta ze shumwai. So, the entire three quru will go, three periods will go. Three periods. But he only uses one tala. Right, okay. So, ek tala ak dawar, but the tinta period cycle zai tu, right? Okay. So, er ba de... So, the tala ak is done now. Yeah, exactly. So, e shumai tala ak shashwe zai, then the wife leaves the house after that three months period is finished. Okay. And the second one But the husband can remarry her now. Okay, yes. Because he used... Because ekta talak used for always say, but duita baki. Duita baki. Okay, so tan zawar ba deo, if the husband chooses that he wants to remarry her, then abar tan bi akhur toiba, same nika abar oibo. Yeah, mahar, new mahar will have to be agreed. Right, exactly. And talak hasan, oise gya ze shumai ekta husband de, tan wife re, Tin mashe tin talak ta den, right? So ek mashe ek fuela mashe talak den, then ek mash wait koroin, then arak mashe talak den, arak mash ola kan tin mashe tin talak dawa. Er ba de ta intener wife re ar biya korta farta na, right? Because ta intener tino talak tino talak the license exactly. And talak galida o isigaz shumai ek ta husband de gushar sute o toba don koriyo tan wife re. تین طلاق اخلو گے دلائن او تو با خوئین امی تو ماری اخشو تا طلاق دلائی سی اور ادھر مثلز لائک ویسا لیان او ایلا میننگ دا دی سوئے لائک دی سی یو لائک مائی مادر تو می ناو دی سی بکیز وی کمپیر یو وائف تو یو مادر دن شی بکمز حرام تو یو سو ان دا کیس ان دا کیس کن ہی ری ماری ہر بکیز دا ہی ہزن کنگی سو ایف ہی دزن if he stays away from her from that period, then it becomes months. established, it becomes talaq. But if he retracts it, then it's fine. Okay. Do you see? But it's it's considered a very severe kind. Yeah. So um, Alhamdulillah, it doesn't, in this part of the world, it doesn't happen. Yeah. But I'm sure it happens yeah. around the yeah. world. Yeah. So I think e, e topic mm. on Ekhboro, so mm. maybe Baki Ziafne Zibunta Kotoko Sunigun, maybe I'm going to topic on Matam Farmo. But talaq galida is Afne Ekhsul Manushish Me Gusha Khori, then husband de Gusha Khori, Ekh Logeti Nota Talaq Dalai. Still e talaq consider oil. And they use like words mm. of, uh, you know, extreme sort of words. Um, right. Very sort of like gusha kuli, yeah, yeah. Who bad bad khota kwa as someone like we'll go through some examples, yeah. Like I give you thousands, millions, like yeah, khata 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 so um, in that case, tino talak ikta ex ekparu tino talak tan use up kore nisun so ikta ekparu sheshwe zai. Yeah. So tan abar tan wife re lakhan biya korta farta na. No. Kintu amra society maze amra hunchi ze asehta halala shumpur ke right. This is for bidai. So onak shumai ki o ze they will say three talak together in one in one sitting, and also while the women is women are menstruating. Right. 
it, it, it is valid, of mm. course, unless you go to a Sharia council and they say, for example, some, um, you know, some ulama will follow the opinion that you cannot accept it mm. while she's um, menstruating. menstruating. So there are differences. It depends on the, um, um, you know, on the, uh, the, the council you go mm. to or the shuyukh that you are referring, mm. you know, that are referring you. Uh, to um, the hukums, etc. So, mm -hmm. just check out, you know, who you go to, um, right. and and be clear that what you're looking for, okay. so that they can um, give you a hukum according to. Um, and also, obviously, it has to be of your madhab because, mm -hmm. generally speaking, when um, the Indian subcontinent mm -hmm. are uh, mostly Hanifi of the Hanifi madhab, mm -hmm. of course, if you're another madhab, mm -hmm. you know, just check out what the uh, yeah. if the Sharia councils um, accommodate that or not. So the bid'i talaq is three um, talaq pronounced mm -hmm. all at once, mm -hmm. which uh, the husband is sinful, mm -hmm. yes. but it is valid. Okay. Um, yes. so which you, which you said like, yeah. and then. On a manshaki horan, halala. They resort to halala, right. don't halala. they? Which is yeah. which is what Islam doesn't, you know, prohibit. No, you know, yeah. yeah, that's right. Exactly. So, Jazakallah khair, Barakallah. Uh, I've learned so much from this session today, and like I said, you know, it's one. I think one episode isn't enough no, um, to do it justice. So, inshallah, amra um, agami episode or aroi topic shom for karo matmu amra. Um, so, I'm going to ask you like I'm going to ask you episode. So, inshallah, I'm going to ask episode. I'm going to ask you for the first time. I'm going to ask you for the first time. So, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.